And here we are in Malta. This is day one and I am absolutely exhausted, but I'm really, really excited to start this trip off. So once you've handed in and shown all your valid documentation, your COVID vaccine and or your PCR test result, you're gonna to wanna to go and get your hire car. And the way to get there is to leave the airport and to walk to this big gray building in the distance. So it's like a five, 10 minute walk. So guys, this has got to be the weirdest car rental situation I've ever experienced when traveling. So we booked our car hire with a company called Target Rent. And when we arrived at the airport, there wasn't any check-in desk or booking location to pick up the car at the airport. So we called the company and they said that they would send a shuttle through to pick us up to take us to the location, which is actually here. This is their car hire location. It seems to be some kind of like residential street and their office is in there. And the car that they picked us up in was the car that we're hiring for the week. It's not actually the one that we booked. We booked a Volkswagen and we've got a Peugeot there. So a little bit random. We've taken lots of photos of the car just to play it really, really safe because this looks a little bit dodgy. But there are other options of many other car companies, car hires. I will link one in the description below that I do usually trust. This was the cheapest one because it was quite last minute that we booked. So there are gonna be other options for you guys to pick up a hire car at the airport. Ugh. just put our bags in the hotel. The room isn't actually ready just yet, so we're gonna just nip around the corner to a little cafe, grab some food, and then check in. So we found this cafe called Dina, which is a really, really lovely outdoor cafe where you can just sit and people watch. Um, we ordered, or well, I ordered, a smoothie, passion fruit smoothie. I'm here with my dad. So you've ordered the what? It's got like tuna. A paste, the tuna paste with tomato paste, olives, cheese, Beautiful, very tasty. Very good. And I got a salmon focaccia. So instead of getting chips, you get crisps, which is a very healthy option. Okay, so the sandwiches are actually really good at this place. But my only criticism of Cafe Cordina is the number of pigeons everywhere. The waiters seem to be, rather than disposing of the food, they just throw it in the corner so all the pigeons just fire over there. But you are going to have an abundance of pigeons flying around. And on the table when we got here, there was a bit of bird poo. So yeah, only bit of criticism, but it is only five minutes from the hotel, so super convenient. And we're gonna head back now to check in. Very, very good. So we have just checked in to the hotel and we're checking out the room. So I wanna give you guys a room tour of where we're gonna be staying, the embassy in Valletta, which is the capital. This room is absolutely beautiful. It's very, very modern, lovely TV, because obviously the England match is on tonight, the Euros the final. So maybe we'll watch it here or maybe we'll go to a pub, haven't yet decided. But this is the room, really nice, very, very modern. I'll show you the bathroom as well. Great shower, fabulous mirror, where we can just be really, super, really vain. Yes, full length mirror, love that. Full length mirrors always make the room look way bigger. Probably the highlight. Oh, look at this, see? So we've got a nice little area over here where we can enjoy coffee in the morning. My dad doesn't even drink coffee, so he's not gonna be making much use of this for coffee drinking, but maybe just for the views because we've got some amazing views over there. However, because me and my dad are sharing this room, we are gonna have these beds separated because I don't wanna be sleeping in the same bed as my dad. He snores immensely. 
and I really value my sleep. So we're gonna get these beds separated. Now at this hotel, there is also a rooftop pool, which is meant to be the highlight. There's also a restaurant up there. So I'm super excited to just hang out there today. I think that's what we're gonna do. We're just going to spend the first day relaxing, catching a bit of sun. And there is also a fitness center, I believe, which I'm gonna give you a tour of later on in this video series. So make sure you stick around and subscribe if you haven't already by pressing that red button down there. And also hit the bell button so you get notified every single time I post a new video here in Malta. Wow, well that is gonna be absolutely necessary, that coffee, because we just had a two hour nap. And to be honest, I feel worse than I did before the nap. So um, yeah, hopefully the coffee's gonna help. But today we're just gonna take it pretty easy, I think. We're just gonna go up onto the rooftop and explore this hotel. And I'm gonna show you guys around. Absolutely love a macaroon. Mm. Wow, first impressions. This is amazing, look at that view. And in the corner, we have found two sun lounges, so we got lucky, which is great because the sun is shining and we're gonna catch some sun. Hopefully get the tan started because I'm feeling a little bit pasty. Yeah, you're looking red, your face is starting to go salmon coloured, your chest has started to go. Seriously? Yeah, it looks bad. Wow. You, you need to put some 15 on at least. Seems to think he's immune from sunburn, doesn't wear any sun lotion, and that's why he looks five o'clock at night and the sun goes down at eight, and it's 30 degrees Celsius, so I don't know what he's thinking, but that's why he looks 70 and he's only 60. So we are currently on the rooftop of the hotel and this pool is absolutely beautiful. It's an infinity pool and we've got an amazing view. A bar here as well so you can order your drinks, get some cocktails and enjoy that with an amazing view. And also the restaurant is here as well where you can order food at dinner time and we are going to be eating here having their three course meal at some point this week. So I'm excited for that. So all over Valletta, occasionally throughout the week, you'll hear these big bangs and it actually sounds like you're, we're being invaded, but we're not. It's actually because they fire these cannons, actual cannonballs, it's not just a blank, by the way. And you'll notice there's big bangs, big smoke in the sky. And it's a really crazy thing to see. I'm not actually sure why they do it, but it is a cultural thing they do over here. They fire these cannonballs. So it's definitely something to see and you get a great sight of it up here on the rooftop. And there's another, oh, bang. That is crazy. So I have just showered and I'm gonna start getting ready. But first I need to admire this view from the balcony. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. And one thing I really appreciate about this hotel is all of their toiletries are like premium products, Locatan. These guys have not cut corners on anything. Anything in terms of the design, the beds, the everything about the room to the toiletries. Like, really, really impressed. And I really appreciate things like that. So, I love a good shower. I love the toiletries even more. I'm gonna go get dressed. And we're gonna head to the pub to watch the Euros. Because, of course, it's coming home. But I'm definitely not coming home anytime soon. I wanna stay right here in Malta. Let's go. So it is a very pretty place to walk around in the evening when you've got that lovely sunset sort of hue, that pink hue in the evening. 
It's very nice with the yellow buildings. But the streets are pretty dead right now and that's because I'm assuming everybody's already in all of their bars and restaurants ready for the match. And we are just heading two minutes around here to the Ordnance Pub, which is where we are eating tonight and where we are watching the game. So very, very excited for this. So as you're walking through, you'll find all these lovely little restaurants with outdoor seating for you to sit out on. And it is beautiful. They've got pianos. It is so, so beautiful around here. So we've come to the Ordnance Pub and we've got some outdoor seating and a great view of the TV. We've got the Brits over on this side over here, which is good to see. But then we do have a lot of Italians over that side. And that is because in Malta, the country is very much torn between its Italian uh, heritage, because it is, of course, south of Sicily, and of course, the British, because we governed Malta, and then of course they got independence in the 1960s, but still, there is of course a lot of British influence over here, and you can see that everywhere, and you can see that with the people in this pub tonight supporting the match. So, we've got some local beers, it's called Sisk, excited for that, and I'm excited for the food. Fish balls. Yeah, yeah. sardines. Yeah, yeah. Fried sardines. Oh, thank you. Let's have a taste of these. Mmm. Nice. Exactly what I expected. A rice ball with fish. Absolutely crazy. The first goal. Everybody just went mental in this bar. Wow. What a volley. Unreal, Luke Shaw. Almost there. Don't know, some kind of pasta. And the time has come. We're at penalties, 1-1 through extra time. England couldn't pull it together. So here we are. We've been here before at penalties. How are you feeling about it? Nervous, very nervous. Do you think it could happen? Yeah, I do. I still believe. That's he still believes. Do. Don't stop believing. <sighs> I don't know what to say. I'm very, very anxious. I think everybody outside is very, very anxious. There's more England supporters out there than there are Italians. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. I said it's the final penalty. If Italy score, they win. And that's this is it. You've got to score. You've got to score. You've got to score. We have to score. Yeah, we have to score. We have to score. Otherwise, they've still won. have gone crazy Italy have done it we're heading back to the room and that is it for today's video I guess it's a little bit depressing the vibe that I'm in right now unfortunately but that is what happens when you support England oh well um, we got to the final say again World Cup next year yeah heard that before Anyway, if you guys have enjoyed this one, obviously hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button so you get notified every time I post. And also there's gonna be a playlist here with all of the videos from Malta that I have brought to this channel. So go check those out. And I will see you in the next one.